So what we're going to explain now is how to use the pedals in the car. Now as you can see we have three pedals. Just remember them as A, B, C. So on the right hand side we have the accelerator which is the gas pedal. In the middle we have B which is brake and on the left hand side we have the clutch pedal. Now the accelerator or what we call the gas pedal is controlled with your right foot. This pedal just makes the car go fast it doesn't make the car go and I'll explain that in a minute. So as I said you use your right foot on the gas pedal when you press the pedal you don't press it all the way down to the floor you just lightly press it about the thickness of a pound coin so just a little bit at a time now as you get more um, confident with driving the car you'll get used to how much to press the pedal to make it go faster and how to, to use the pedal to go slower now also imagine that you're riding a push bike and you've got pedals on the push bike the more you turn the pedals the faster the bike will go now if you want to slow the bike down you stop pedaling so exactly the same in a car if you want to go faster you press the gas pedal down if you want to slow down you come off the gas pedal and the car will deaccelerate. now when you're pressing the gas pedal just press it a little bit at a time and you'll hear the engine notes just slowly go up now if you press it all the way down to the floor the car will just rev up loads now if you want to slow the car down, if you come off the gas pedal, the revs will drop and the car will slow down. Now if you want to slow down a little bit more, then you're going to have to use the foot brake. Now you use your right foot on the foot brake, you transfer your foot from the gas pedal onto the brake. Now you don't slam your foot on the brake, exactly the same as a push bike, you wouldn't slam your brakes on on a push bike because the chances are you'll go over the handlebars. You slowly come off the gas, the car will start to slow down transfer your foot over to the brake pedal you lightly press the foot brake and just slowly increase the pressure to slow down or a little bit more to come to a stop now when you press the brake pedal your back brake lights come on and that's a warning to and a signal to people behind you that you are slowing the car down if you want to make the car carry on going then you come off the foot brake and transfer it back onto the gas pedal and carry on going now the left pedal is the clutch now this is controlled with your left foot. With this pedal, which is different than the other two, the pedal goes all the way down to the floor. And when you're positioning the car, you must make sure that you're seated correctly so that you can press the pedal all the way down to the floor and take your foot off the pedal. Now the clutch makes the car go. When you press the clutch down, there is two discs in the engine. One is spinning round and it's connected to the engine. The other one is connected to the front wheels. Now if you connect these two discs together, the car will drive. Now the way you connect these two discs together is first of all, you put the clutch all the way down to the floor. You then select first gear. Now first gear is the gear that we use for moving the car off. Now you keep your foot down. Now if you take your foot totally off the clutch now, the car will stall. The car will jump forward and will come to a stop. So it's important that you don't take your foot right off the clutch. Now what you're gonna do is slowly lift the clutch up. And you're gonna get to a point, and that point is called the biting point. The biting point is when those two discs are now slowly touching. And friction from the disc connected to the engine is now spinning the other disc around. The way that you'll notice that is first of all you'll hear the engine note change and also the car will just lift up very slightly. And like I said it's very important you don't take your foot totally off the clutch now because the car will stall. So we're going to put the clutch all the way back down to the floor. We're now going to slowly lift it up to the bike. And you can just slowly hear the, hear the engine note change. We're just going to push it down a little bit lift it up a little bit. It's important that you practice this. It will be a bit uncomfortable. You might have to adjust your seat. Remember, if you are going to adjust your seat, you must put the clutch down, put the gear stick back into neutral, adjust your seat, and then restart doing this. Now at this point here, it will be a bit uncomfortable, and also depending on the size of your feet, you might be able to find that you can rest your heel on the carpet, or if you've got quite small feet, you might find it's a bit uncomfortable because your foot's just laying on the clutch. Now if you want to make the car go, 
we're going to take the handbrake off. And at this point here, we don't need any gas. And at this point here, when we're at the bite, to make the car go, we need to slowly lift the clutch up. We're not going to take our foot totally off the clutch. We're going to lift it up. It should approximately take about three seconds. And count that three seconds. One, lift up a little bit. Two, lift up a little bit more. Three, you can take your foot totally off the clutch and the car will drive. And as you can see, we're not using any gas and the car is moving. Those two discs I mentioned are now touching and just driving the car around. The disc connected to the engine is now connected to the disc which is connected to the wheels. And the way that we connect those two discs is using the gear box. We select first gear, and we're now just moving off really slowly. Now, we're gonna slowly come to a stop. Now to come to a stop, we're gonna gently press the foot brake, very gently, and then put the clutch all the way down to the floor. Now to begin with, when you do this, as you slowly press the foot brake, when you put your clutch down to the floor, your right foot will press the foot brake quite harsh. After a period of time, you just get good at being able to have independent feet, your right foot doing something different to your left foot. Now, if we want to make the car go at this point here, we've got our foot on the foot brake and our clutch is all the way down. Now, if we take our foot off the foot brake, the car could roll. If we slowly lift the clutch up to the bite, with our foot still on the foot brake, you've got two opposites happening. You've got the clutch trying to make us go and you've got the foot brake stopping us from going. So what you need to do here, is slowly lift the clutch up to the bite. Just as you feel the bite, release the foot brake and then just slowly lift the clutch up and the car will slowly go. Now there are times when you can, ideally what you want to do is called BBC, brake before clutch. But there are times sometimes, especially when you're going really slow, that you might find it a little bit more convenient because you're going so slow to put the clutch down first. As long as you're not on a steep hill and you're on a nice flat surface, that's okay. To so bring the car to a stop, this time we're going to put the clutch down to the floor and then gently brake. Now the car will move with the clutch, but it will only move very slowly. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to move the car off, but we need to move the car off a little bit faster, so we're going to apply a little bit of gas. So imagine you're on a steep hill where you need to move away a little bit quicker, it's important that you set your gas. So we're going to transfer our foot onto the gas pedal and we're going to set the revs, roughly the revs between 1 and 2, so between 1,000 and 2,000 RPM. You can just hear the engine just slightly turning over. We're now going to slowly feel the bite and then the same as before, to make the car go, we slowly lift the clutch up, which will take roughly about 3 seconds and slowly increase the gas. This time we're moving off just that little bit quicker. Now if we want to slow the car down we come off the gas, the car will slow down, the car will not stop, the car won't stall. If we want to make the car go faster then we can press the gas pedal again. If we want to slow the car down we come off the gas pedal. Now if we want to make the car come to a stop, we come off the gas pedal, we gently brake and put the clutch all the way down to the floor. Just carry on pressing that foot brake. At this point here, if you took your foot right off the clutch, the car would stall. So what's important is that you secure the car by putting the handbrake on select neutral and then you can relax your feet.